good morning everyone we'll be starting with a new chapter today discovering the tooth the saga continues this story is about the last hire of the pharaoh dynasty how the last hire tutankhamun he became a king at a very young age and how his untimely death has le- how is untimely death has raised many questions which are yet to be answered the researchers from over time to time uh, from time to time they have been trying to find out the answers behind his untimely death this this last hire of the pharaoh dynasty who became a king at a very young age and even died at a very young age but his death has left many unanswered questions and the researchers have been trying to find out the reason behind his death from a very for a very long time now written by a r williams this chapter is about the last heir of the powerful pharaoh dynasty tutankhamun who died when he was a teenager after ruling for 9 years he died in a mysterious way this chapter throws light throws light over all the possible mysteries the curse where his tomb lies his life and ultimately death egyptians believe that there is a life after death and that is the reason why the pharaohs were worried buried with wealth and everyday use items discovering tooth the saga continues as a chapter which gives us an in-depth insight of tutankhamun the last ruler of the powerful pharaoh dynasty in egypt he was a teenager when he died and his death was a mystery some speculated that he was murdered he ruled in egypt and its empire for centuries in 1922 his tomb was discovered by howard carter a british archaeologist after 80 years he was taken from his resting place for ct scan which offers to solve the mystery of his life and death by creating the forensic reconstruction while you know at the death of tutankhamun and even years after right the science wasn't that advanced so it wasn't difficult it was difficult actually for the archaeologist to find the exact reason behind his death it was difficult for the researchers to find out the exact reason behind his death and his death was and, and his death remained a mystery but until in 1922 when a british archaeologist howard carter right he decided to take he, he decided to take out tutankhamun from his tomb and get a ct scan done so that he could solve the mystery behind his untimely death right forensic reconstruction and other things were being done why because the science was advanced now they wanted to do a research they found they wanted to find the answers for all those unanswered questions so he decided to take out a uh, tutankhamun from his tomb and get a ct scan done so that piece by piece they can find out what the exact reason behind his death was tut's father or gra- grandfather amenhotep 3 was a very powerful pharaoh who ruled over a period of 40 years his son amenhotep 4 thrived him and began the strangest period in the history of egypt he promoted the worship of aten the sun disk he changed his name to akhenaten meaning servant of the aten means he began the he began the worship of sun right and that is why he changed his name from uh, he changed he changed his name to akhenaten means the worship of god or the servant of the aten's he also moved the religious capital from thebes to the new city of akhenaten called amarna further he attacked amun a god smashed a god smashed his images and closed his temples 
another mysterious ruler succeeded him who died soon next to a tutankhamun also known as tut sat on the throne and ruled for 9 years he worshiped god amun in the old ways however he died mysteriously so what's happening right till the time tutan a uh, tutankhamun grandfather was there they all worshiped amun right they all worshiped uh, they all worshiped god amun but when the uh, uh, when so when the uh, 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 when the worshiping god was changed by one of his ancestors right they have even changed their name from amun to aten why because the aten means the servant of the uh, why because aten uh, aten means the worship of sun and his name was changed to akhenaten meaning servant of the atens but when tutankhamun he had sat on the throne he again started the worship of god amun in the old ways however he died mysteriously so tooth's father or grandfather amenhotep 3 was a very powerful pharaoh who ruled over a period of 40 years his son amenhotep 4 thrived him means succeeded him and began the strangest period in the history of egypt why because earlier they used to worship god amun but what he did he began to start the worship of aten that is the sun disk and even changed the name changed the name to akhenaten he also destroyed the temples and everything where the worship of god amun was done also he changed the religious religious capital from thebes to the new city of akhenaten called amarna but when tutankhamun he had succeeded the throne he again started the worship of god amun in the old ways in the old ways means the way his grandfather used to worship god amun but his death was a mystery because he died mysteriously when tooth's mummy tooth's mummified body was discovered he was laid with lots of gold wealth and everyday items like a bronze razor games clothes cases of food and wine why because these egyptian peoples they believe in after light so whenever after life so whenever a person is buried the person is buried with all the everyday requirements as if they are going on a long journey whatever day to day needs are there they are they are buried well with all those items because they consider that these people after life are going to a long journey and they would require all these items carter discovered him after searching for many years after researching on the treasures he decided to investigate his three nested coffins some parts of the tooth's treasure in the tomb were already looted his tomb was rock cut 26 feet underground which had wall paintings on the outer coffin tooth's face was gilded in the first coffin he found the garlands of the olives lotus petals and corn flowers it showed that he was buried in the months of march or april why because these flowers are found during this these seasons only the third and final coffin put carter into trouble the raisins used to cement tooth to the bottom of the solid gold coffin was hardened enough making it making it impossible to move he put the coffin in the sun for several hours in hope for the raisins to loose up but it didn't work finally he removed the raisins with the help of chisel and hammer carter felt he didn't have any other choice as as to if he hadn't cut the mummy from limb to limb thieves would have looted the gold his men first remove his head then they cut off every joint after removing the body parts they placed it on the layer of sand in a wooden box and put it at the original place in 1968 the mummy was x-rayed by an anatomy professor revealed few facts 
His breast bone and front ribs were missing. Later on January 5, 2009, Tooth was taken for CT scan, which takes hundreds of X-rays and creates a three-dimensional image. The night of the scan, the workmen carried his body from the tomb in a box. They climbed a ramp and stairs and lifted it on a hydraulic trailer that held the scanner. The scanner stopped working which paused the procedure. After using a pair of spare fans, the scan was finally done. After three hours, his body was taken back to his tomb where his body is resting in peace. Now what you will do is you will draw the background theme of the chapter and create dialogue box for the scene. This is your homework. Now this chapter which you have studied, right? It would sound a bit confusing also because this is you know, uh, different from the League of the, League of the Chapters which you have studied till now. It's simply about, so if you want to sum it up, you can say that this chapter is about Tutankhamun. Tutankhamun who was the last heir of the Pharaoh dynasty, right? During the time of his grandfather, they used to worship God Amun, but his successor, right but his successor who succeeded him right he began the worship of Aten that is the sun god and also he had destroyed the temples where god Amun was worshipped and he has changed the religious city from Thebes to Amarna but when Tutankhamun he sat on the throne he again began the worship of god Amun in the old ways now why are we studying this chapter is because of the mystery which lies behind his death and which still is unanswered, right? Why? Because this last hire, this last young hire of the Pharaoh dynasty, he died in a very mysterious way. And when he died, right, it was very difficult to find out the exact reason behind his death. So over the years, researchers have tried, from, from time to time, they have tried to find out the exact reason behind his death with the advancement in science and technology. Right, because when this last hire he died, the science wasn't advanced enough to take uh, to find out the exact mystery behind his death. Right, until Howard Carter in 1922, he took out uh, he he took out his tomb and he tried to do some research. Right, later in 1968, again one of the researchers tried to do the discovery, and the last one was done in 2009 when a CT scan was done. So with the advancement in technology from time to time, researchers have tried different methods to find out what the exact mystery was behind, the, behind his death, right? They have tried every possible way to find out the death and while they were doing the research, they have even come to, uh, come, they, they have even faced some shocking revelations. Right? There, there were certain shocking revelations which had come in front of them, whether it was the missing of the breast, bone and ribs, right or whether whether they found out ki whatever you know uh, whatever he was buried with it has already been looted away right the way his body was cemented and his body got stuck to the gold coffin and how they have taken in uh, taken it out from the tomb right so this story is all about the research was which, which, which was done which was done to find out the answers of the unanswered questions which uh, unanswered questions which which had created a mystery around the death of this young pharaoh now class what you will do is you will go through this chapter thoroughly go through it read it once right if any query is there do ask me on your whatsapp group this chapter might be a bit confusing but if you read it thoroughly if you read it slowly right it will be easier for you to understand. And this is the summary which we have already discussed. And this is your homework. Thank you.